today is a special day because we're checking out the Skibbity Toilet Meme in all the brand new seasons with the characters, powers, and their size comparisons. So let's waste some more time and let's check these out. Skibbity Toilet 47. Oh, what is all that? Oh my god, the infected speaker, man. Look at him go, dude. Look at him go. Oh, the TV Titan. He's talking to me. I can hear him. He's talking to me. He said, hello, Gary. I said, hello. G-Man has arrived and oh my god, he's blasting him with the lasers right into the speaker chest of the TV Titan has a plan. He's using his TV abilities to go ahead and turn him. He's gonna flush him. <gasps> a new chainsaw toilet with Japan. Oh my. Come on. Yes. Let's go, TV Titan. <gasps> He's getting a lot of damage right now, G-Man. Oh, G-Man's a goner. G-Man's a goner. Oh no, the infected TV. <gasps> the infected speaker man just fast stop the TV Titan. And there's a creepy toilet. And, oh, there's a parasite. Oh, the parasite tried infecting him and now they're mad. <laughs> yes. Oh gosh, we, that's bad. Oh, we're skipping each other 46. And oh, look at the cameraman. Oh. <laughs> oh, dude, he's always flying away. The infected speaker man is, has been flying away for the last two episodes and the TV Titan has arrived to save the day. Oh, oh, what is the... He's sucking up all the cameramen. It's like a battle bot monster. Look at that. Come on, TV Titan. Hit him. Oh, he's got crazy chainsaw arms and oh. <laughs> he didn't last very long, guys. He did not last very long. Ooh, woo. Oh, wait. Look at the, he, they're coming. They're alive in their head. Yes. Skibbity toilet 45 and oh my gosh, you can tell there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got a weird guy in the window in this episode and the infected speaker man is fighting. Who is he fighting? He's fighting the TV Titan. Oh, this is the first battle they had together. Dude, the infected speaker Titan. Oh, that's right. He tackles him with a jetpack attack. That was a good move. That was a really good move. Nice. And he got rid of one of his speakers. But wait, did he heal? Wait, did he get his speaker back in another episode? I didn't even check. Oh, I know. He's the TV Titan's annoyed. He's annoyed. Episode one, power level low, speed pretty low as well. This is the most basic of basic characters in the Skibidi War, all right? Then we have the green toilet, or also known as the woman toilet, also known as the skull toilet. She is pretty basic as well. As you can see, a two power level with a speed of one. Really, not really. She doesn't do anything. She's like one of the lowest tier toilets, to be honest. And it's not even a toilet. The big toilet, though, he's 32 feet. A power level of over seven and speed of four. He's pretty strong. Then we got the middle boss toilet. You can see we're in a restaurant right now. Everyone's eating on a toilet. The default toilet comes in. Or that's the default guy, you know? He's pretty quick. He, he's, he looks like he's a lot faster than the middle boss toilet. This is the middle boss toilet, right? He's moving pretty quickly. His power level is pretty good. And he's 18 feet. Easter egg here. There's tanks on the road here getting ready to fight the sky toilet. Now, I think the sky toilet is more powerful than just four because he can call in other sky toilets, as you can see, and they all have little default toilets that come out of their mouth, which is pretty strong. DJ Toilet. I think he's just like the hype man, you know? He's just the guy that plays the music. I don't even think he does a good job at eating cameramen. I think he's just there to have a good time and party. This is the default toilet, right? But here on the left, you can see it says boss toilet phase one. This is just phase one. This is the first look at our boss toilet at 120 feet. One of the biggest toilets in existence, okay? His power level is over seven. There he is. People call him the boss toilet, the G-man toilet, uh, elite toilet. There's lots of names for him nowadays. Then we've got the soldier toilet, you know? This guy, he's coming in hot. He has four power level, three speed, and 2.6 feet. This is the, that's him right there. He pushes us off the building. The police toilet. We're at the square, right? We go ahead and flush all of them. See you later. Nice to know you. Go ahead and flush this bad boy. Bye-bye. Police toilet. Power of four. Speed four. He's only 2.2 feet. He's tiny. 2.2 feet. I, I stand at six feet. Look, look, he's much smaller than, than, than the cameraman. But then, 
We've got one of my favorite toilets. The holy toilet! Oh, he's so epic, dudes. Now, he's not very fast, but he's got decent power level. He's got a six power level. He's also 15 feet, which is pretty tall. As you can see, he eats a cameraman that comes in. But, dudes, honestly, a basic cameraman is able to go ahead and distract him and then flush him. So, is he really that strong? I think having him at a six is a little bit too much. Now, the triple toilet, the triple demon toilet, the demon toilet, he's coming in at a nice seven bars of power and five speed. I think he is stronger than just seven, all right? I'm just saying. Because the boss toilet, phase two, is coming in at eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he's at eight. So, I don't know. I think boss toilet is a little is a lot stronger than eight because he's got the laser eyes the triple demon doesn't got laser eyes i mean i feel like laser eyes always wins and the speed is eight two now spider camera pretty strong four power level speed one of the fastest in the in the war right but he's very very defenseless against the flying toilet he gets destroyed He's not very good, all right? He just gets absolutely flushed, no problem. This is the flying toilet, flying flaming toilet. High speed, low power. Grandpa toilet, five power, four speed. You know, Renata did a really good job, but this guy right here, soldier toilet. Soldier, that, that is that is the, the rocket toilet, soldier toilet. We're gonna, we're gonna see a, a big uh, layout for him for the power, but. Assassin toilet. This is the guy that comes up behind us. He's not very strong, but he pushes up off the building. Power of two. He did push the cameraman, so technically, you know. The spy toilet, zero power. He has no power. He can't do anything. He's just all eyes. He just goes and he works for he works for the for the cameraman. He does have some power, in my opinion, because he can explode, alright? Now, this is the espionage cameraman, the guy that sets up the booms. Now, of course, this is the guy that can summon the orbital strike. He works that bad boy. That does a lot of damage. I think that's at least like a power of six, power of five, easy. But the espionage cameraman himself, not very strong. He's nothing without the orbital strike. Camel toilet coming in at six power. With four speed. Look at him. Look at him. He gets wrecked. You know by who? By the good old big man. The big man himself. So is, are they really that strong if they're just getting crushed into nothingness? Now, this cameraman, he's pretty, he's pretty strong. All right? I got to give it to him. This is the camera titan. Our first look at the camera titan. Against the triple demon, this is one of the most powerful cameras that we have seen so far. There may be more cameras soon, but he sort of struggled with the triple demon. All right, you guys saw? He really struggled. Phase three boss toilet though, is the strongest. You can see he's max power level. The camera titan is able to defend against the, the, the eye beams, but the rocket toilet comes in and really puts in some serious damage into our titan now the detective cameraman i don't think he's very strong i think saying that the detective cameraman is four power is way too it's way too much power let me know in the comments and do you guys think the detective cameraman is four power i think he's like two maybe maybe three maybe but that's a lot man because he can't really do anything he, he has no powers the hydra toilet the five-headed toilet. You see, the five-headed toilet is three is six power level. And the last detective toilet is almost as strong as the hydra toilet. It doesn't make sense to me, boys. It don't make no sense. I don't think the hydra toilet is look, see? It's just five heads that can all eat you. It should be at least a level five of power. Expert cameraman. Zero power one speed they get infiltrated the warehouse as you can see it's going down but what you notice they get wiped out by the titan the titan does a good job destroying them all bam all dead that's what i'm talking about bro 
That's what I'm talking See, the Titan is strong. Oh, no. The dancer camera. Now, this is also known as a dancing webcam, all right? This one has multiple names. The webcam man, dancing webcam man, the cam man, a few names. See? He looks normal. It's a normal looking guy. But they've got a whole platoon of them. A whole army. As you can see, the army's pretty strong. Then we got the spider woofer speaker. Coming out at, five, at a six power level and a six speed. I think he's pretty strong. This guy alone is able to wipe out multiple toilets and multiple spider toilets and bot and, and uh, big toilets. The woofer man is a power level six as well. So I don't know. I think I think the 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 woofer man and the and the and the woofer spider are a, a bit a bit stronger than five and six. Um. But he's about to get wrecked. See, look. Wolverman saves the day. See? Let's go, dude. Thank you. But the robber toilet. I don't know what his special ability is. I have no idea what he can do. But the speaker titan, though, one of the strongest. Him and phase three boss toilet are the strongest of the strong. I also think his speed is max because he can fly. I don't think he's like... I, th I think he's way stronger than that. I think he's faster and... Has more power. He's he's one of the strongest by far. These are all scout. No, this is not a scout toilet. These are all default toilets down there. This right here is a scout toilet. That long neck, that's a scout toilet. They they keep their eyes on the prize. They're looking around for enemies. The mafia toilet. This is where it gets really intense, guys. The mafia toilet, honestly, pretty awesome. Pretty freaking awesome. He, he coordinates the groups of toilets for attacks. But when, when we got detected, we had to call on the speaker titan for help. And look at this. He destroyed all of them in one shot. All of them gone. Even the jetpack toilet. One smack down. Dude, he's so strong. It's crazy. It's actually crazy. This is the crazy toilet. Speaking of crazy. I think this guy is one of the strongest of all the toilets. I think... It's crazy to say that he's only a level four. Because look, he has max speed. He's the fastest out of anything of anything. He's faster than the Titans. He's faster than the cameraman. He's faster than he's faster than everybody. But he's only a four power. Bro, look how fast he took out everything. He destroyed everyone's face. Now, I also think the scientist toilet is more powerful than just a four power. His ability to convert any of the cameramen and any of the um, uh, speakermen into, like, cursed and infected with the parasite toilet, the, one of the most powerful toilets, all right? Because he can infect cameramen, he can infect titans, maybe even TV men. We don't know yet. Maybe. So, we get the zombie cameraman here, and they're all infected. Look at this. The zombie cameraman isn't stronger than a regular cameraman, but they are infected. This is the camo toilet phase two, all right? Camo toilet with laser blasters, as you can see. As you've noticed already, a lot of these toilets are getting stronger and stronger, and the cameraman and the speakerman really haven't gotten a lot stronger. We've been losing a lot of the battles, and even here, the parasite infector just the parasite just infected the speaker titan and now he's a zombie speaker titan and look wait a minute the speaker titan now that he's infected is max speed hold up looking back at when the speaker titan was introduced he was only a max power and one off from max with speed why did the parasite give him more speed and now that he's infected i don't know why he would be more like, why would he be stronger and faster? It doesn't make sense to me. Maybe because he doesn't have to think about the things he does. He just does it and just, you know, because he's infected. Maybe that's why he's faster. I don't know. That doesn't make any sense anymore. But this is a boss toilet phase four. Of course, the strongest of the strongest. This is when the toilets really have an upper hand because they've got a phase four boss toilet and they've got an infected speaker titan. The strongest of all strong enemies right now.
And of course, the mutant toilet. One of the creepiest toilets of them all. He's so creepy, guys. He's so creepy. Now, we all know that the, the cameramen have been losing this war. They've got infected people. We've been struggling to go ahead and beat them. But we found a way to remove the parasite. Remember, the parasite is very weak. You can easily crush it. A speaker, a speaker man can just easily crush them. They're, they're not even strong at all. But what's sort of stinky is that, hey, we have a cameraman that creates the pulse ray. Now, the pulse blaster is very good. It can, it can turn the infected uninfected, and it gets rid of the parasites with one blast. But as you guys know, like, it, it's not strong enough to stop the infected Titan yet. So these two being the strongest in the in the war right now like they're they're strongest by by a long shot we're sort of in a tough spot we're in a really tough spot uh we, we've gotta we've gotta figure out a way to go ahead and win this war because they've, they've got some serious firepower comparatively to the cameras the cameras are losing a lot right now cam quarter man has two pulse blasters and he's able to convert all these guys back into normal so this helps the war a little bit but we're still losing Cameramen are still losing by a lot, a lot. Yeah, you see, we can we can flush all these guys, but we're, we're still losing. We're, you know, at 17.3 feet, even with the pulse tank, it's it's pretty freaking strong. I think the power of the pulse tank is even stronger than, than that. Just because the pulse tank can go ahead and stop a lot of toilets, but it only works on infected, as you guys just saw. The pulse tank did nothing to the mutant toilet. That means it's not very strong against non-infected. Now, if you didn't think we get stronger, we definitely have. We just upgraded the power and the speed. Now, this is where the uh, boss toilet saves the, the mutated or the infected speaker man. And it can now fly. It, it has like boosters. It's a lot. It's a lot going on. This is the first introduction to the jetpack toilet, which is he's pretty strong, but he's not the strongest. His speed also is not crazy strong. The power of a TV man, though. I think the power of a TV man to all normal toilets is very strong. Anything under the boss toilet will be affected by a TV man, I think. So it's very important to remember that a TV man can do a lot of, lot of good for the war. So it's a good thing the TV man's here. Then we've got the plunger, right? The plunger's not very strong in power, but you know the TV man is strong. And as we also know, the large TV man is even stronger than the regular TV man. So strong, we've got to put on a protective lens to protect our eyes. And it makes all the, all the toilets go crazy. It doesn't affect speaker men because they can't see the light. And lastly, we've got a regular TV man, and there's a whole lot of policemen, spider, spider toilet man, regular toilet man, and whoa, Easter egg. Not a lot of people are talking about this guy right here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video, but this is one that no one's really talking about. It's our first introduction to the triple head bathtub toilet. I'm not sure what this thing is, but we'll have more information about him soon. And of course, the large TV man was strong, but the TV Titan is stronger. It is believed that this is the strongest of the TVs. As you guys know, the TV Titan is one of the strongest of all the TVs. He's got the red light that automatically makes all of them flush themselves. They all flush themselves. Even the big boys flush themselves. We haven't seen the TV Titan against a boss phase three yet or any boss toilet. So hopefully this TV Titan can help us win this war because as you guys know, it has not been all smiles like the TVs normally have.